Don't Waste Time in the Wilderness. So believe it or not, the song Purpose in the Wild started off as a sermon that I spoke uh, January, maybe even December 2019. And after the sermon, it was just this feeling of like, yo, it's way more to this. Like I knew that wasn't it because the concept just really connected and I knew there was more to say. So I wrote this song, Purpose in the Wild. And if you listen to the song in the first three verses are the three stages of purpose that comes from the sermon. You know, we find ourselves in a pandemic and that's when it really hit me like, yo, we're in the wilderness. So let me start at stage one, right? Stage one, as it relates to the stages of purpose is your slave state. Now, I know that sounds harsh. It's cool. Trust me. If you read the Bible and you look at the children of Israel, they were literally Hebrew slaves and Moses had to go. We all know the famous quote, Pharaoh, let my people go. Well, he was trying to free his people from slavery. And the crazy thing about the slave state is that when they were slaves, like they ate when the people told them to eat, when their masters told them to eat, you know, you could go where your masters tell you to go, do what they tell you to do, but you were also getting mistreated. So fast forward, Moses goes, frees his people, and then they find themselves in the wilderness. Now, the wilderness is stage two of your purpose. Like you go from being in a slave state where you don't control anything and you're really just doing what people tell you to do into your wilderness, which a lot of people get mixed up. They think the wilderness is a bad place because we all know the goal is really to get to the promised land, which is stage three, but let's back up. So in this wilderness stage, you know, it actually represents freedom. So what seems like a bad place is really the first time you've been free. First time you've been able to do what you want to do when you say you want to do it. And a lot of us, unfortunately, like you look at the pandemic, we just wasting our time watching TV, taking naps all day. No, you need your rest. You need your little relaxation. I'm cool with that. But if you haven't worked on your purpose, if, if you always said you wanted to be free with it from this job, I do this, I do that. Well, like now that you got your freedom, then you just Netflix and chill. That's not getting you to your purpose unless your purpose is to be a movie critic, then uh, you might have an argument. But here's my point. As it goes back to the children of Israel, one month after being free, they was in the wilderness complaining, like telling Moses and them like, yo, bro, at least when I was a slave, I had food. And come on, if you being real with yourself, a lot of us, when we find ourselves in the freedom state or the wilderness state, we complain and almost glorify or romanticize slavery as if it was a good thing. And Moses told them something cool. He was like, yo, you're not complaining against me. You're complaining against God. He's the one that set you free. And so, you know, that's just kind of a sidebar. Like if you find yourself complaining about the freedom or your quote unquote wilderness, then you may want to check yourself and make sure you're not complaining to God about freeing you from something that you wanted to be free from. Because those Hebrew slaves cried out to God when they were in slave. And here's the other cool thing about the wilderness. Like all the covenants, commandments, the tabernacle, Ark of the Covenant, like all these laws and, and the civilization was established in the wilderness. So when I say don't waste time in the wilderness, during that stage where you feel like, yo, I'm not in my purpose, I don't know what to do. Do something towards your purpose. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what this song is about. If you listen to the lyrics, like all through the song is like, yo, talking about graduating from being a slave to actually embracing the wilderness state where you get to create. Like the wilderness is where we create and where we develop. And then stage three, we jump into the promised land. But here's the thing about the promise phase or stage of finding your purpose. The thing about it is, that's not even where you just go and kick up and life is perfect. You good. Like, you oh, everything's great. That's what we think a lot of times, right? Your promise phase or stage is actually where the real work starts. Go back to those children of Israel. Joshua takes over. He's leading a generation across the Jordan River into the promised land. And something crazy stuck out in the Bible to me. It's like the land is occupied by Jebusites and all these Zites, whatever, Ites and Zites. So I'm like, okay, all these people are occupying the land that God told me was mine. Now he's telling them, go fight for your land. The battle is mine, but you still got to fight. And a lot of times we think getting to the promise means getting to life being easy and there's nothing to do. Look, even if you're successful, you have a purpose. Even if you've made it to your promised land, to the mountaintop, God still has a purpose for you. You still need to fight. You still need to embrace the fact and remember 
your wilderness. A lot of times we make it past something and we forgot that time we spent in the wilderness. So we get a little arrogant, start feeling ourselves. But look, you got to take your purpose into the wild. That's what it's all about, man. So check out my new album or my new EP. It's not a full album, five songs. It's called To Whom It May Inspire by J. Will Music. Look, add me to your Spotify playlist, your Apple Music, all that good stuff and find it online, man. And uh, check me out on inspireguyspeople.com, all right?